Well, from there, let's switch over to boxing. I heard Sarafina talk yesterday on um, the issue concerning um, Deontay Wilder and uh, um, um, Tyson Fury after that knockout. And he came up with different excuses why he lost that match. And now we're hearing that he's considering sacking his co-trainer, Mark Breland, for throwing in the towel against Tyson Fury and suggested he was influenced by someone with, with ties to the Gypsy Kings camp. And the bronze bomber forfeited his WBC heavyweight title on Saturday night in Las Vegas, twice hitting the canvas before his corner stopped the fight in the seventh round, though his head, his head coach, Jay Diaz, revealed he had not given his OK to Breland to throw in the towel. Wada was unhappy in the ring afterwards, saying he wanted to fall on his shield and has now gone a step further and is considering axing Breland, claiming boxer Anthony Durrell, who is trained by Fury's new coach, Sugar Hill Stewart, influenced the decision. Sarafina, um, Deontay Wilder, yes, we know him to be a warrior. And uh, there's something he stands for. He, he likes to fight to the, drop, to the last drop of blood. But over the weekend, it was very obvious that this man couldn't continue. He was beating blue, black, all colors of the rainbow, and he still wanted to keep on fighting. None of us wanted the case of a boxer died in the ring. We don't want to see that anymore. We don't want to see that any longer. For me, do you, in my own opinion, I think the trainer did the right thing. Probably it was a spoil of the moment. He had to just do it, like, let's, let's surrender. But the head coach had not given the final say to surrender or not. But do you think the trainer was influenced to make that decision? It depends on the angle you want to look at it from, because Wider brought up different angles of argument. One of the angles he, he talked about was the fact that behind uh, Mark, we had the uh, people from Tyson Fury's camp, and mm -hmm. they kept on screaming, throwing the tower, throwing the tower, which means it, it could be that the decision was influenced from the crowd. Mm. That was why he had to throw in the tower. Another, uh, another argument could also be the fact that the head coach said, do not do this. Yeah. And he waived the, 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 the decision of the head coach and went, went ahead to throw in the tower. Mm. Now, if you're doing that, you and your head coach should come, should have this agreement. Yeah. So even when Deontay Wilder is not cool with it, you can actually have someone to, to back you. For you yeah. That is it. But you look at uh, uh, professionally, medically, uh, as regards the health of human, as regards life in general, I think it was the right call. Mm -hmm. But when you work with someone, you know what the person stands for. Deontay Wilder is the kind of boxer that stands for, I'm going to keep giving it to him until he says, I don't want to do it again. Yeah. Why not leave Deontay Wilder and let him make that call for himself? He's an adult. According to him, he said he has like more seven runs in him to go, <laughs> wow. which we all know that it, it, would, it would have been very, very bloody. If True. He, yeah. But, but you look at Deontay Wilder, he's the kind of person that if he thinks I can no longer undo this, I can easily signify, signal and say, okay, Please, please, I need, I, I need to, 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 to just take a break from this. Yeah. You don't need to make such decision for him. That is what Deontay Wilder stands for. Hmm. Well, that's a tough one. But wouldn't you also say that um, pride will not let him give in? No, it's, it's not a case of pride. Now, when you look at the contracts, we have a rematch contract. Hmm. So if I get to that stage where I think that I can no longer take it, I need to, I need to just take, take a bow from this one, I can easily take a bow and come back a better fighter. Hmm. I can just activate the, the rematch. It's not, it's not like I'm losing this belt. I wouldn't stand a chance to get it back. back I yeah. can see reactivate the, the, the clouds and also come back and win it if I come back as a better fighter. So it's not really a case of pride. And also, it is Tyson Fury. It is not true. Carlos Taka. Mm -hmm. Very true. Well, um, uh, for Anthony Dr. Wilder, he also said that the elaborate outfit he wore on his ring walk weighed 40 pounds and one of the key reasons for his defeat to Tyson Fury. We'll be speaking with uh, Remy Abode in a short while to give his own reaction on what happened uh, over the weekend. But then, uh, talk, still talking about this one now, the, the beaten former champion added that he plans to trigger a clause in his contract for a second rematch. And Wilder said the outfit wants to represent Black History Month, weighed him down so much that he didn't have the legs to withstand Fury's early assaults in their Las Vegas heavyweight title fight on Saturday. Okay. Um, is this a case of Jose Morio uh, <laughs> deflecting um, the issues surrounding his loss. Because I, I see, I see Dr. Wada has given too many excuses. Why not just accept the defeat and walk towards having a secondary match? It was a very difficult defeat to take. Mm. He was beaten to a bloody pulp. Um, his lips were opened up. He had a defect in his ears as well. So um, it's very hard for him to come to terms with the fact that he took that defeat. I mean, he was undefeated just before the loss. Mm. So, and after all the bragging rights that had already been put at stake, you know, telling, um, calling out Tyson Fury on Twitter, telling him that not even God 
could save him from what was going to happen to him. And for him to go down like that, it was very difficult for him to accept. And till today, it's still difficult for him to accept that. And he just wants to trigger the release clause and get this behind him. Secondary match. Of course, uh, we have uh, Remya Bordering on the line now, talking about uh, the Gensec Nigeria Boxing Board of Control. Good morning. Good to have you here, sir. Oh, good morning. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go straight to what it is. We saw the fight that went down on Saturday between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. And now Deontay Wilder is giving reasons for his loss to Tyson Fury. One of them is that um, his trainer was not supposed to throw in the towel and is considering firing him. And the second reason is the costume he wore into the ring. He said it was too heavy that he couldn't feel his legs. What would be your reaction to that, sir? Well, uh, my reaction is simple. And it's just that boxers will always give you excuses and reasons why they lost. Even when it's clearing that it is not their day, they will still give you uh, excuses that most often will be something out of this world. That uh, he was wearing a, an up, uh, what's it called, a garment that is over, that is weighing him down, that makes his leg uh, weak, is to me not tenable. Uh, definitely, he would have gotten the costume Maybe a day, definitely at least a day before the uh, the bout, and then he will have tried it all. Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't just get it on that very day or at the at, at, at the dressing room and then put it on and then he starts walking to the ring with it. But whatever the case is, Dante had a very bad night on that day, mm -hmm. and he lost. He lost woefully. That it's the garment or the costume is just just uh, the the truth. Uh, coming to the issue of his trainer, I believe he has every right to, I mean, get a new trailer, trainer. Uh, even now, uh, Tyson Fury changed his trainers before the bout. Okay. And then if there's going to be a third meet, which, in my own opinion, really doesn't uh, uh, cut eyes, because let's be, let's be frank, uh, Tyson Fury defeated him the first time. Okay. The only saving grace for Dante was because of the two knockdowns. Uh, that is in round uh, nine and I think around round 12. Uh, apart from those two rounds, Tyson would have been declared the winner if he wasn't knocked down. True. So really, it taught me to me is just for the money. Mm. And I don't see him surpassing his two uh, previous fights with uh, uh, Tyson Fury. Yes, he has every right to start the trainer and he has every right to change his trainer. I think the trainer was, uh, that is, Mark Brilliant. Brilliant was too hasty in training in the tower. Uh, you don't have a uh, dinner and omelette. If you don't like Lord, you don't come to the ring. Uh, <laughs> fight. Definitely a good boxing bout would always uh, bring up Lord. And uh, if he only had a court, in the inside, is, uh, uh, it's not as if the Airdrum got broken. Uh, got broken. Yeah. I don't see why you should call it off. If you look at that fight in the seven, yeah, this guy was top down around one, around three, around five. By round seven, we know we all know Dante much to be uh, a, a boxer as in he, he boxes. He's a slugger, one punch seven die. And I think at the seventh round, apart from the three four blows thrown by uh, Fury. His reply with the left hand was very, very empathic. Uh, Kenny Bellas would not have stopped that bout if that throw wasn't thrown in. And uh, I think he has already got, gotten past the, 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 the problems, I mean, the, the height of, those, uh, of the fight, as in round three, round five, and then he's already up and he's doing his best. He, he's not going to have punch uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah. He was going to knock Tyson out. And that he may still do. Uh, he fought with Luis Otis. Luis Otis was leading from round one to round uh, seven and eight before the punch came. Mm. Same thing uh, in, uh, when he fought against Luis Otis in uh, the first fight. It was in round ten that he was able to get his, his shot in. Mm. All right. I believe definitely it was a wrong call on the part of Mark Brillan mm. to have stopped that fight. Based on the fact that even the head trainer, that's J JD, said they never, they never agreed or like he, he didn't ask him to throw in the you, you have to consult with your other teammates. And then they said, right in the dressing room, before the main, before that bout, a fight happened. That, I mean, one of the five bouts, 
Toro was thrown in, and Dante said, No, please, that is not right. All right. Don't throw into ones for I mean do, do my bad. He should have been allowed to go go out in his shield, like, like you said. Very for a true. champion of his magnitude, he should have allowed been allowed to at least be knocked out or or give up himself, not for Maguilan to throw in the toro. That's right. my second take. Thank you very much, Remy Abodiri, Gensec, Nigeria Boxing Board of Control, for giving your own opinion in that one. Now, before we leave um, the studio, I'd like to put Sarafina on the spot now. Would you love to marry a boxer? <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Um, first of all, this is me being honest. I love my men on the big side. Mm. Like the size of like Tyson Fury. I love okay. tall. Just, just be hefty for me. Mm. <laughs> That's how I love okay. it. Okay, so we went into the street to ask a few ladies um, on uh, uh, if they could marry a, um, a boxer. Let's quickly listen to them, and when we come back, we'll be wrapping up with the show. I don't know. I can't. I think they are not sexy, and I will feel their pain whenever they are fighting and something like that. I can't, just can't marry a boxer. No. Yeah, I would like to marry a boxer if I'm in love with him. I would like to marry him. My house will be vocal. <laughs> and I beat my old man. No, 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 I can't. Yes, I can marry a boss. Uh, better to marry a boss. Uh, I'll have peace. And then um, enjoy. It's very fine. <laughs> no, I cannot marry a boss. Uh. Mm, because I don't really like uh, the work they are doing. No, I don't want my daughter to marry a box. Because I don't want somebody to beat my daughter now. That's the only daughter I have. So I don't like it. Safina likes her man on the big side, but some of the ladies there said they wouldn't want to marry um, a boxer. But then we'll, I think we'll get to talk about this off the camera because uh, time will not permit us to go on with the show. I'd like to thank Safina and uh, Okwe for coming to the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, it was mm. a pleasure being here. Thank we would you. like to have you more often on the show, Safina. You don't have a problem, you know. Mm. All right. Uh, keep it locked down to Plus TV Africa because we give you the best when it comes to TV programming. Amudoka and Joko wishing you the very best of today.